welcome or welcome back mo gang if you are returning to the channel so before we get started on today's video please make sure if you are not a part of the mo gang to do so go ahead go down below hit that subscribe button and select that notification bell make sure you press all so that way you are notified each and every time I post a new video. And I'm sorry, you guys, if my energy seems a little low. I'm just very, very exhausted. I am exhausted. Um, so I'm giving y'all what I got. I'm giving y'all what I can. All right. So today's video is going to be my, I think technically what, quarter two? Yes. Quarter two empties videos so i have a plethora of things down here at my feet i'm gonna pretty much i kind of quickly group them together so that way hopefully i can make this go as quickly as possible i'm gonna try not to drag it out too too long try to have it within 20 minutes and we're gonna see how good i do so the first three items i have that are empties well i'll do the first one and then i'll do the second two together um is this clean and cute delicate panting wash which looks comes in a package like this here i do order this online and it comes with its own um little caps to be able to measure out your detergent in and yes i use this for my underwear usually i put my underwear my bras and my husband's underwear together with this wash and i really like this um i have purchased this over and over time again great always a repurchase for me we're gonna go ahead move into the next item like i said these are just like some random house things i felt like would be useful to plug in for this empties video and these are my other two empties here and this is by the true company it's just a true brand um this was their laundry detergent and this was their um lavender scented fabric softener this is more of just like a clean scent um it's not lavender scent it's similar to this but why i ever stopped using this detergent and fabric softener i don't know but i think what the issue was at the time that i stopped using it was they did not offer subscription service to auto renew itself or auto ship they do now this is a black owned company i am huge 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 supporter of black owned companies because if i'm supporting everybody else out here i why wouldn't i support my people you know what i'm saying so i love this detergent as well as the fabric softener it washes my clothes just as well as tide or well tide is what i use so i can't say tide gain and all that I don't, I don't know only used to use tide this does just as good um with no problem and i love the packaging that it comes in um it seems kind of weird having it in this but it actually lasts pretty decent i'm now um of course on a reorder since they have subscription now i get this delivered every i want to say four to five weeks so that way i always have it in rotation and i don't have to think about it it just comes when it's ready so this is already a repurchase this is on auto ship so next up, i just put that on the side there. Next category is going to be hair care products that I've used up. I use up a decent amount. Two products I'm actually tossing because one, I feel like it's just kind of old at this point and I don't like the way it smells. It was kind of giving me weird vibes and that's the the Mish, um, Peaches and Cream. Um, it just, I, I don't know, it was... It smells more like clay and rotted peaches. Like it doesn't smell like it initially smelled. So I'm just going to toss the rest of this. It's not a crazy amount left. It's about that much. Like maybe a little under half a jar. But yeah, it doesn't smell good. And then this. I don't think anything was up with this. I think I just wanted to get rid of it. This is the um, the Dews B Girl Collection Ladies First Supercharged Honey Moisture Reten Retention Shampoo. Um, and it's about this much left of this. Not much. I just 
Uh, I just didn't want it anymore, honestly. Um, I don't think it was like bad or anything. I just didn't want it. Now, for the products that I did use up, I did use up a Design Essentials Composition Mousse. I'm not going to go into long detail about this because there are plenty of videos of me using this on the channel. So this is a constant repurchase. This is one of my staple mousses. And as you guys know, if you don't know, if you're new, I love doing mousses for my twist outs. So I keep this in rotation. I'm not going to go into a long drawn out process about that. I did use up the TGIN Honey Whip Hydrating Mousse that looks like this here. And I love the way this smells. It smells just like the mask and all of the other products in this line. Um, I I pretty much, I really enjoyed this. Um, I can't really fully remember completely like how much I liked it, didn't like it. But I know I used it, I liked it enough to use this up. But from what I remember, this is actually pretty decent. It does not have as much hole um, from what I believe. I don't know if I have a video with this um mousse or not if i do i'll link it i'll also link video at least one or two videos using the composition foam by design essentials if i have one of this i'll link this this is actually pretty good it is a lighter hold than the composition foam but i still did enjoy using this i had picked this up at marshall's um and it was like $8.99 yeah it was $8.99 so I had just picked this up because I wanted to try it out I hadn't tried this before I did try the mask and I really liked the mask this wasn't too bad um I probably wouldn't repurchase this at a regular price just because I like more hold when I'm using a mousse so that's kind of the only reason why but not that it wasn't a good one um, next item up is this product by Ava NYC. This is the Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. And I love this stuff. I think I've had it in a previous empties video, so I'm not going to get long winded about this. I mainly use this on my hair when I am blow drying it. It's pretty good. And I've already got a repurchase of this because, like I said, I keep that in my stash. Next up is this um, In Love Moisture Affection Leave In Conditioner spray is actually what it is it doesn't say spray but it is um i actually used this up a while ago um and this was fairly decent i used this the majority of the time up on my husband's hair i used it a few times on mine but majority of the time because i um blow dry his hair to style it um oftentimes because i'm usually doing his hair once a month once every month and a half something like that so i always blow dry his hair just for easy ease of manageability etc etc but this is actually pretty good it worked really good in his hair um no complaints about that the times i used it in my hair i honestly don't remember i think i'm sure i probably used it if i whenever i did um the few times i used it probably was before blow dry and it did decent i'm assuming i can't remember but i probably wouldn't repurchase this because i do have another spray leave-in that i love 10 times better i have not used it up yet so i'm not going to mention that at the moment i used up two hair no 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 spoke too soon i used up one hair mask <laughs> and it was the did i use really oh i did okay <laughs> Y'all, it's me forgetting I didn't use that one of my limited edition products. Child, tired, okay? Um, this is the Mish uh, Spike Cider Deep Conditioning Treatment. This is, of course, one of the limited edition ones. Just as fantastic as any of the rest of the limited edition uh, deep conditioners, as well as their traditional one. To me, the moisture factor on the limited edition um, deep conditioners is one step down from their indulge. The indulge is top notch chef's kiss, but these are not bad at all. Like they're neck and neck, but they're not the same level of moisture as the indulge in my opinion. But this is limited edition. Not sure if it's available right now. Would I repurchase it? Uh, possibly because i do like the smell of it i think this would actually pair good with using this with the um trey lux leave-in afterwards because they kind of smell similar to me um ironically so 
I think these will go good together. If they have it again, I might pick it up, but I'm not opposed to repurchasing it, but I don't know if I would. Um, next product is this, okay, is this um, Nature's Little Secret Strawberry Styling Smoothie. I finally used this up. I actually ended up using this mostly on my husband's hair. I think I did a video styling my hair with this. If I did, I will link it above or down below. Um, great. Great. And it smells so good. It's all of Nature's Little Secret items are lightly scented because it's almost like it's it has maybe the juice of the fruit or the juice of the whatever in it. So it's a very light scent. But it smells so good. It smells like pure strawberries. Uh, like I said, I don't know necessarily. Because there is perfume in here. It's like fragrance. But I don't know what the combination of the fragrance is. But I really enjoyed this. It was really good. I used probably about, mm, I would say a fourth of this on my hair. The rest I used on my husband's hair. And it worked great on both our hair. I actually liked using this on his hair. Um... Cause I pretty much braid his hair up and like box braids basically with his hair um, when he's away traveling for work and stuff like that. And it has a nice little hold to it and gives some good moisture. Fantastic. Would I repurchase? We will see. That's to be determined because that technically was a repurchase. I do have the Irish Moss Styling Cream. I have not tried yet. So I will see how I like that in comparison to this and that'll be my determining factor if I would actually repurchase not opposed because obviously that's a repurchase but I don't know right now next product is the Mayel nourishing styling gel from their Megan Gold and Tosa line and all the products of this line smell so good to me it's not really a mango smell it's like a tropical kind of smell but it doesn't smell overly mango to me I mean it smells maybe artificial mango, but I don't know. Smells really, really good. I really did enjoy this gel. This was a pleasant surprise. I mentioned it in my video. I will link it above, below, one of the two. This was a pleasant surprise because I was not anticipating this gel was going to do what it did. And it actually is really, really, really good gel. Would I repurchase it? Probably. Um, I'm not opposed. Now, it's not my favorite gel of gels that I use for my wash and go slash texture sets. It's not the same. Um, or I don't like it necessarily more. But I would not be opposed to repurchasing it. But I'm not going to do it currently. And the last hair item that I use. Sorry. <laughs> the last item I used up is this. Um btl which is braids twists and locks supreme performance braiding gel professional and this is the big girl um this was this is 16 ounces and i've used every drop every drop and it smells so it smells so good. It smells just as good as the pink one. The pink one, I think, was in my last empties. I use this when I braid. Um, I use this when I braid my hair. Um, as far as, like, if I'm doing knotless braids on my hair, things like that. Um, I use this on my mom's hair because usually I do her box braids a few times a year. I love this braiding gel. It holds nicely. It's nice. It feels nice and conditioning to the hair. Um, it doesn't hold it too much, so it's not too stiff. Um, would I repurchase this? Absolutely. Um, I didn't repurchase that this time because they did not have this size. This was $9.99 at my local beauty supply. And I would prefer to get the bigger one because I think the next size down from this is like $7.99 or $6.99. And I'm like, why spend that when I could just wait and get the bigger size for a couple dollars more? So that was kind of my logic behind it. So I did try a different one, but this is my second one. So this would still be a repurchase regardless. And so now let's see. Mm. Um, Let's move into, because I feel like I got just as much of each. Um, I'll go ahead and knock out the body care since the body care is right in front of me this first item is more of an oral care item and i used up these berkeley jensen um whitening strips 
that I picked up from BJ's and 28 strips come in here. Now, I did not use these as instructed in the sense of the time frame and things like that. I just kind of use them sporadically, but I do feel like they work. And they were not overly expensive. They were cheaper than like the Crest White Strips, which they are compared to the Crest 3D No Slip, uh, the 3D White No Slip uh, Strips. Their comparison is, and I feel like they work just as good and they were less. So yeah, this was a good buy. Would I repurchase these? Absolutely, because they actually work pretty good. I was not upset. Um, Let's see, next thing is this. Um, clean reserve little uh travel perfume here hopefully you guys can see that and <sighs> this smells so good so the scent is called skin and the weirdest thing is it does smell like skin so to give you an idea of like how in the world does it smell like skin it literally smells like a female's skin but better it has this nice like i how they did it is crazy to me if i can find the notes i'll put the notes on the screen but it's like a subtle floral mixed with the scent of just clean like cleanliness like fresh so nice and just clean with a little hint of flora with a little dash of sweetness on there. Like it's, this smells fantastic. It's just kind of, this is more of like a good, in my opinion, This so this is how I wear it. This is a nice daytime scent to just kind of run around, run errands. This is definitely a good gym scent. I mainly wear this the most going to the gym or at night before I go to bed. That's usually the time I wear skin the most or if I'm just going to kind of be around the house. This smells so good. What I repurchase it, I already have. I purchased the bigger bottle and I've been in love ever since. And it has a mean dent in it. So I've been using it. <laughs> I may do a perfume video to show you guys like some of my favorite perfumes. If y'all are interested, let me know about that um let's see i'm gonna go ahead and do these two body washes here this one is by saltaire this is their santal bloom um skin rejuvenating serum body wash i love this i love this i love this i was very scared to use it i was very scared uh naturally sunny here on YouTube, um, also known as Atia, that's her real name. She had used this in one of her vlogs and was talking about how great the scents, the scent was, and she didn't lie. Oh, it smells so good. Um, but sadly, I guess just just from the runoff, like runoff from her body, because not that she actually washed with this down there, if you catch my drift. But just from runoff with her, I guess it just running down off her body. It messed around. It messed up the pH down there and gave her a yeast infection. So I was very nervous because I already had this by that point. And I literally went and bought it after she, I just saw she had bought it. and was just raving about the scent. And so I was very, very scared. But this didn't um, bother me at all down there just from runoff. Because, of course, I do not wash with this down there. But this smells heavenly um let me see if they have the notes okay no it doesn't but it it smells so good it smells like um let me see y'all I, I suck it okay so strangely enough it smells kind of fruity floral but more fl fruity floral with freshness more freshness and more fruit and with a dash of floral is the combination that I get when I smell it. Um, I love this. I would absolutely repurchase it, but I have not yet because I have a ton of body washes under my sink right now. The next one I use is my Dove, my holy, holy, holy grail Dove, the glowing mango and almond butter one. If y'all know, y'all know, y'all have seen this in a previous empties. I don't remember when. I love this. This is my favorite Dove. 
this is always a repurchase this stays in my stash we ain't gonna talk no more about it and speaking of Saltair, i used up the santal bloom five percent aha deodorant is a serum deodorant um of course aha is help to lighten the underarms i love this deodorant i don't know if this is a limited edition deodorant or not but this deodorant is fantastic they only sell this particular one on their website um target has the solid for me personally the solid does not work well for me as far as odor control it does not work well for me um it smells really good because it smells like santal bloom but it does not work well for me for odor this works fantastically i love it would i repurchase it yes i already have my other one is already on my dresser i'll be playing around and um another deodorant that i used up was before that was my cosas which y'all know you know we love her um i have technically this on a subscription so of course i repurchased i used up a black girl sunscreen i feel like it took me forever to finish this but i did and this is always a repurchase i'm not gonna get all long and drawn out about that um i finally finished up um this um ingrown hair toner that i get from the wax salon that i go to locally here and obviously it's for ingrowns i do get waxes under my arms and uh brazilian wax so i do like to spray this on just the skin area we we don't go too deep because you you know you don't want to get nothing down there like that but this actually works really, really good is as far as like preventing those ingrown hairs from coming in because I am subject to those. Um, so yes, I love this and I've already repurchased it. Um, oh, one more body wash gel is this one that's called What's Up Doc from Lush. I actually got this um, well over a year ago. And it's, oh, this smells so good. And I have not, I'm so mad now, but if y'all know Lush, y'all know this was expensive. I think this was like $15, 12 or $15 for this little bitty, what was this? 3.3 fluid ounce. I wanted the bigger one. I think it's like an eight ounce one, but it's, it's pricey. And I still, I don't know. It's just, yeah, that actually isn't coming out, but this smells so good if i can happen to look up and find it again because i can't even remember the time of year i bought this to remember when it may possibly be back i haven't seen it back since and it's been well over a year since i had this but if it comes back in stock i would definitely pick that up because the scent on that is amazing um next item i'm gonna quickly just show this honey pot we know this is my favorite feminine wash and I always repurchase her. That's all we're going to say about that. I'm going to go ahead and show off this scrub. This is by Onyx Bathhouse and this is their foaming body scrub. And this one, this scent was hot mess. I think I showed one. Ooh, I think I showed one in a previous empties video. It was Champagne Wishes, I think is what it's called. Um, but this one is Hot Mess. I love the scent of this. This was nice. I love how the how it foams up and it's still a scrub. All the things. This is some good stuff. I got this from Marshalls for $5.99. And this is 20 ounces of scrub. If y'all see these with the little black top, by onyx what is it onyx bathhouse smell it and try them out because they have a bunch of different kind of scents and stuff like that and they usually for the most part I, I haven't seen it lately but i was seeing those very very frequently like last year um in the year before it i would see them all the time in there so check it out and get you get, get your hands on some because i do have one more jar of that left and then i probably won't repurchase because they are so big and I don't scrub like I should. Like I don't use body scrubs like I should to really get through them like that. So next item um, is this. Well, technically, it's not this particular one. 
but I had used up a Urban Eden soap. I just wanted to showcase this because this actually is the one that's in my shower now. The one before this I used up, I think, was the lemongrass one, which happens to be my favorite soap. This is a Black-owned company as well. And I got back, well, I've been purchasing, honestly, I've been purchasing their soaps now for the last probably two years. I stopped for just a brief month or so, maybe couple of months something like that until we got moved and then i started right back i i used my dove mango one for a little while because i was obsessed so i used that for a little while and then i went back to this um uh, but these soaps are fantastic um if you guys like the cast the dr bronner's castle soap the t like the feel of this on your skin is very very similar i put it that way very very similar i love this soap i haven't purchased dr bronner's here recently because i'm really trying to go back to using that soap so i have not picked up dr bronner's and y'all know dr bronner's almond is my favorite but i i pretty much you do the five for 25 on this with the five for 25 soap bundle every time so when i get down to the last bar i re-up um, this is the Flamingo Foaming Shave Gel that I used up. I finally used this up. This took a little while to use up. I really like this. Smells nice and fresh. Yeah, nice fresh scent. Um, not overpowering, but this is a nice thick shower gel. This is really, really nice. It's inexpensive. It's not very, very expensive. I think I got this at Target, if I'm not mistaken. I really enjoyed it. Would I repurchase this? Absolutely. Last body product is this uh, body butter from the body shop. It's the coconut, coconut one. And uh, this was like a very mild, like coconut shea butter scent, um, in my opinion. I really like this. And this, she was thick. Now, body butter, this was a body, true body butter. So I would repurchase this and definitely would repurchase the bigger size. But it did take me a while to use that. And we are down to the last category, y'all. I'm trying to keep it rolling for y'all. And I won't have to do a lot of edits on this video. We love that. It is a little lengthy. I'm sorry, y'all. But first things up, I'm going to mention this briefly. This is the clean uh skin club clean towels is what they're called the extra large ones these are the white ones apparently they have the bamboo ones too i have these on auto ship so obviously i love them and i repurchase them often another repurchase item y'all have seen time and time again are the hero mighty patches that i get from target love these things always repurchase those and oh one more repurchase item i always repurchase well two the Moisture Tonic from Nordor Cosmetics. Y'all know, I always got to slide, I always got to slide it in there. Because yes, I'm still using it. At this point, I don't know any time that I'm not going to be using that anytime soon. And one more auto ship repurchase is the Jinjung Sung Soothing Skin Moisture Essence. We already know how I feel about this. I have been using this at this point probably for at least four years now and i haven't stopped i love it so on to a recent kind of rotation product is the hyaluronic acid in its free green tea serum i love this stuff this is like at this point probably like my third or fourth bottle of this i love this stuff always a repurchase and newer product to me is by adapto skincare this is their turmeric mist with witch hazel and i picked this up because i wanted another um facial mist i wanted another facial mist for like daytime so that way i wouldn't have to always use up this one um from nordor because she doesn't um well, this one is, is two ounces now. It used to be four. So I just didn't want to always use it morning and night. I would rather just keep it for the nighttime. So I picked this up from Target and I like it. I figured with it having the turmeric in there, I was like, oh, that might help with brightening a little bit. And I I really like this. And it has witch hazel. 
and my moisture mist has witch hazel so i wanted to kind of find something that i knew in common between the two in something else in another mist and this has been working great i love this i have already repurchased it so this is probably gonna stay in rotation i probably won't mention that much more after this another product i finally used up was this youth to the people um super berry dream cleansing balm as you guys can see here i finally used this up this took me forever to use but this was decent um yeah it was decent it was decent would i repurchase this no i actually like the minimo velvet cleansing balm i actually like that 10 times better than this but this wasn't bad but i just wouldn't repurchase it because i like the minimo one better um next item is this um by fenty beauty this is their um color coco drizzle this is their pro kisser luscious lip balm which looks like this here i y'all i accidentally broke the top off of it so the top does not look like that um but i enjoyed this i enjoyed it i enjoyed it so much that this is no, this is not my second one. I about to say, I thought this was my second one of this same one. It's not. Um, it takes a very long time to use. It is 0.4 ounces, but it took me forever to use this. Forever. I don't know why. I don't know why. But would I repurchase this? Yes, I already have. I purchased it in the, I forgot what the color is. I'm looking at it from over here and I'm almost through with that one. It's taking me still forever to finish up the last of that. But this is actually a very, very nice, pretty gloss. Now, this gives you a little, a little color, as you can see there. It does give you a little color, but it's not, um, oof, I don't know if y'all ain't gonna really be able to see it because obviously it's blending in with my skin. But it gives you just a little bit of added color. Um... Yeah, it gives you just a little bit of added color, but I really like this. Um, Next product, I'm sorry, y'all. I know my energy is probably dwindling on camera. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so tired. Okay, I only got this and two other items left, and then I will be done. This is the Aqua Bomb um, Belief. By, excuse me. Let me say it correctly. Let's, let me say it correctly. Belief. The True Cream... <laughs> The True Cream Aqua Bomb. This is their uh, 1.68 fluid ounce, 50 ml. And that's what she looks like. And I completely used, uh, used her up. I am in love. I am in love with this moisturizer. This is a face moisturizer. I use this as my, um, my second moisturizer at night this is the last thing i put on before i settle down and either watch tv for a little bit longer or whatever the case may be this is a fantastic face moisturizer i have used this in the daytime i of course mainly use it at night that's my main purpose for this um but i've also used it numerous times during the day this is so good it's a little pricey it's a little pricey but it's good and honestly this one ounce one and i was like dang this i was like i don't know it might it might be fine and then i was thinking like oh it's kind of small because when you open it i don't know if you guys can see how well y'all can see in there but it doesn't look like it's big this lasted me a long time me i will continue to repurchase this until i get tired of it which i don't see happening anytime soon the last two products are from Ennis Free. This is their Pore Clearing Clay Mask. I don't know why I feel like that was a tongue twister a little bit. I finally used this up. I feel like it took me forever to use this. This is 3.38 ounces. And I feel like it took me centuries to use this. Granted, I fell off on doing my normal routine of how I do my detox mask. I usually try to do my detox mask twice a week. I do a hydrating mask once a week. 
but I fell off so it took me even longer to use this but this was actually very good I feel like this was a nice detoxifying mask I feel like it really was you know keeping my face detoxified as far as not getting a lot of any excess breakouts or if I felt like I was getting any I would be like all right it's time for me to do a little detox mask I feel like my skin's a little congested this was actually really really good um would I repurchase this probably so um I am testing out another detoxifying mask so between that one and this one will be the determining factor of which one I repurchase but I'm not opposed to repurchasing this one and lastly this is the Innisfree intensive hydrating toner with the green seed oil green tea seed oil looks like that I enjoy this toner this toner was nice. It was 6.76 fluid ounces. And it actually was not that expensive. I think this was less than $20. I think this was like maybe $18, $16, $18, something like that. This was actually really good. And I was not, I was like intensive hydration. Oh, hydration, hydration, hydration. This is really good. Would I repurchase it? Yes. Have I yet? No, because I found that turmeric mist. And I'd rather have a mister. I'm not really a fan of the um, toners if it doesn't have a spray to it. So, you know, I will repurchase it, but I haven't yet. But that is the end. That is the end. That is the end. I'm going to try to trim this down a little bit for you guys. That is the end of this empties video, you guys. This is probably going to be my last empties video. Um, unless you guys, I get... A decent amount of people down below saying they want a uh, want to me to continue doing empties videos but I appreciate you guys for tuning in today if y'all have any questions comments please make sure you leave those down below let me know what you guys are feeling as far as if you want more empties videos I need more responses than just two three four or five that's not enough responses for me for as many people as I have subscribed. It's not a crazy amount that I have subscribed, but I need a little more than five people. Even I need more than 10. Like I need to know y'all are really going to watch because it takes time to record these videos. Okay. So let me know down below what y'all think about that. And also if for some reason, if I forget to link any videos that I may have made mention earlier in the video, if I forget to do that, please make sure if you want to check those out to let me know so I can either plug them down below or put them in the cards. Um, but I will try my best to remember to put them all that I mentioned in this video in the cards. So thanks so much, you guys. Thank you for bearing with me with my energy depleting. <laughs> I'm about to go get me some food and chill out for a little bit because I am very exhausted and I already have figured out why. But anyway, I appreciate you guys. See you in the next video. Peace out.